Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a new video for you all today. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I needed some Slayer points as I'm currently trying to do Ending in Zero Slayer Boss Edition. It will be the longest video yet in that series and the fact that I have like 14 Slayer points right now means that I cannot get assigned any of the tasks that I need. So instead of doing a 10 hour of Slayer point boosting, today I'm going to be doing 20 hours of Slayer point boosting. And what I'll be doing is using Terrail for my first nine Slayer tasks, and then for my tenth, I'll be using Konar so that we get a nice bonus. Before we get started into today's grind, though, we do have some quick words from our sponsor today, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects you from hackers who try to steal your private information every time that you connect to an unencrypted Wi-Fi network. At airports, hotels, coffee shops, or even at home, you are at risk. ExpressVPN VPN encrypts your network data with the best-in-class encryption that would take a hacker with a supercomputer billions of years to crack. And something that I especially love about ExpressVPN is that it gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. You can actually save money on Netflix by quite a bit simply by just using ExpressVPN. You can save up to $10 a month. And certain countries even censor the internet and don't let you access all websites freely. Think about a YouTube video you weren't able to watch or a website you couldn't visit, a sports match that you were unable to stream. Well, with ExpressVPN, you will not only be able to access that, but your data will be safe the whole time while you are doing so. And with the fastest speeds, ExpressVPN invests only in the premium servers, making them consistently faster than any other VPN provider. And with 24-7 customer support, if you encounter any issues, live chat means that your questions will be answered within seconds, not hours. Ease of use. Fire up the app and connect with just one click. Click. To get ExpressVPN, just click the link below, and when you use my link, you will get your first three months free. So you can really experience all of the benefits of ExpressVPN in those three months. Well, a huge thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video, and make sure to click that link in the description below for your three months for free to start right away. All right, well, it looks like our very first task of the video was our 1600th task, so we'll definitely get a nice bonus from this one, and it is an other than Kraken. This did get me a Kraken tentacle on the very first kill, and uh, I decided to kill the normal Krakens after I killed about a hundred of the boss version. Since this is a point boosting video, this is really going to be done in as much efficiency and speed as possible. So killing the big boss will take way too long, so we'll just stick with the lower level versions. And to my surprise, I was awarded with over 500 Slayer points from this first task. Now we're going to move on to a little bit of Terrell skipping, which is uh, just doing pretty small slayer tasks such as skeletons and zombies, crawling hands, spiders. Uh, there's all sorts of different low-level monsters that you can kill. I actually got an iron boots drop from Cave Slimes, and that was a collection log piece somehow, so that was pretty cool. Um, but after nine tasks, which were relatively quick, I did get assigned Ankus by Konar for my nice little 100-point bonus. Uh, it's certainly a fast task. You know, usually I'm used to Konar assigning tasks that take uh, over an hour, but yeah, Ankus took less than, I'd say, 10 minutes. And and after another quick nine Terrell tasks, I was assigned 12 Skeletal Wyverns. I absolutely love Skeletal Wyverns. There's a nice Dragon Plate Leg drop there. I'm actually planning on loot from 3,000 Skeletal Wyverns over on the Iron Man account. I think they drop incredible things that I could definitely use for uh, that account, so expect that video in a couple weeks. And for our 1630th task, we receive another 192 Cave Kraken. This time, uh, I was definitely going to be using those bracelets that speed up the Slayer task, if I can remember to bring them in my inventory. Otherwise, I would just be using a tormented bracelet with a saying staff and killing the lower level ones, which actually dropped me an elite clue scroll, which I didn't know uh, these low level Krakens did. So I definitely completed that as well as a hard clue and we'll be saving all the caskets as well as all the brimstone keys for the end of the video. Uh, probably going to be opening all of that up after the initial price check of everything. I certainly love clue scrolls. I, I was actually complaining about them before a few months ago, but I've actually been enjoying them and I've been getting some pretty good stuff from them recently, so it's kind of reinstated some hope there. So, uh, yeah, expect a lot of clues in these loot videos. So, for my 1640th task, I did kill 25 Mithril Dragons. Unfortunately, no chew bones, but uh, don't worry, because you'll definitely be seeing that task again throughout the video. I do have the Mithril Bars noted, thanks to me unlocking that Slayer perk, so that's uh, extra profit. Here we have a nice Terrail task. This is Sulfur Lizards, which actually have a decent drop table for as low of a level as they are. Uh, our next uh, Konar task, though, 160 
69 Brimhaven Dungeon Fire Giants. The only good thing about this task is that you get long bones, which, uh, you know, basically translates to construction XP later on when you cash them all in. Other than that, you can expect like the tooth and loop half keys and the occasional rune scimitar. So yeah, it's not much to look forward to at a fire giant task. But nevertheless, I did receive 300 Slayer points for completing it. So that's awesome. And here's a superior Banshee, which I actually forgot that all these low, low level Slayer monsters have superiors. I was encountering, I think at least 10 or 15 superiors during this video. And remember my main account still to this day has not received an eternal gem or a imbued heart. So I'm still waiting for that. Another superior, this time Abyssal Demon. I was assigned by Konar some Abyssal Demons to be killed in the Abyss, which uh, is decent, I guess. I mean, it's not really the best location to kill them, but as long as you stay to the south, you won't be interrupted by the other crawlers around this area because that can get really annoying. So you just got to pay a little bit more attention to that area. No whip, unfortunately. But another 100 points and following that, a superior crawling hand, which I two hit most of the time. Didn't get anything from him, but uh, from the Konar task, I did get Turoths, which um, not a big fan of these. I really prefer them on my Iron Man. I've killed thousands upon thousands because they do drop a lot of nature runes, the occasional golden mystic row bottom. They do have superiors as well and hard clue scrolls. So yeah, it's not too bad if you think about it. Leaf bladed battle axe also shreds there. And that was my 1670th task with an extra 100 points and a hard clue scroll casket. Another superior banshee killed. Like I said, I've killed so many of these that I just was never expecting a drop. You know, they're such low levels. Following that though, I was assigned a decent magic related task. This is uh, Catacombs of Corinne Jellies. I did get a superior as well, which did grant me a dark totem base, which I really need because I need two more pieces in order to finally reach 50 Scotizo, which I have planned for the future. But with the completion of that task and another hard clue scroll, there's another 100 Slayer points and another casket for the price check. Hopefully we get some master clues from those hard clue caskets. But with all that being said, I was assigned a very quick Konor task once again, this time Calphites, and there was a quick 100 points. 10 hours left into the video. Here's a task that I didn't really enjoy too much would be bears. These and dogs, really just annoying tasks. Uh, but yeah, overall, we did get another Calphite task from Konor for our 1700th task and 500 points. That is incredible. We are well over 2000 Slayer points into the video now with 10 hours left to go. Hopefully we can double that. That would be incredible. I did receive another Calphite task from Konar, so that is actually really good. I mean, had I been getting like Hydra tasks or Drake or something really miserable that would take a long time, well, I guess Alchemical Hydra is not miserable, but you get the point. The uh, point boosting would be slowed down to a huge extent, but instead I was getting things like Fire Giants and Calphites, and uh, I even got 98 trolls on top of the Trollheim Summit. So this was going by very quickly, and I was actually getting uh, decent tasks all around. Not so much as it pertains to drops or pets or anything like that, but definitely just uh, XP and efficiency, and as it goes for points, definitely was lucking out with that. Uh, instead of uh, a quicker task, I was assigned a decent amount of Cave Kraken, so I quickly did that, and I did obtain our fifth hard clue of the video, and then following this, Abyssal Sire, which I decided just to kill five of them to get my KC to end in zero, and also because I was just going for points, not really drops here. So yeah, another quick 100 points, total point value 2,524, and after a very long monkey task, I was assigned a decent cannon task, Greater Demons, uh, just north of Konar upstairs, so this one was really quick. I did obtain 136 million strength XP, uh, and this was our 1750th task, so instead of a normal 100 point bonus, I did get a 700 point bonus. This is looking really good for the ending in zero episode. I can't imagine not getting all the boss tasks assigned that I need, so uh, it's a huge amount of points so far. And following that, another quick 10 to rails, and we did a Dark Beast task. Didn't really get anything from that. Uh, another superior crawling hand. Still no drop from the superiors from this one, but at least the KC is adding up. Our luck is bound to change eventually with that. This was actually my first time ever killing Bloodvelds in the Isleworth dungeon. Not much to say about this one. It was pretty steady. Uh, I got a couple crystal shards, but that was about it. Another easy 100 points there. I did run into a superior Bloodveld, but nothing from him, although he does look uh, pretty amazing. I, I gotta say, I wish all the Bloodvelds looked like that. So I did revisit Fire Giants, but they didn't assign me them in Brimhaven this time, just the normal uh, Slayer Stronghold. So got a couple of Brimstone Keys, as well as a couple of iconic Longbones. And another 100 points. We are 20 tasks away from 1,800 overall. And our next Konar task, this is our 
190th, I believe, was Hellhounds. And other than reaching 160 million HP XP, uh, really not too much to say about this task. It was pretty slow, but I think they added more spawns in the area, so I am thankful for that. And another Brimstone Key. Well, with one hour left to go and a quick little Sulfur Lizards task once again, we did receive our very last task of the Konar Slayer edition, which is Mithril Dragons, and I did receive chewed bones from them. But yeah, this was going to be it. The timer was pretty much aligned perfectly for 20 hours with this last task reaching me uh, to the very end, and I did receive a Brimstone Key as well. And with all that being said, loot from 20 hours of point boosting had been completed. Another 500 points gained from that task, ending the video with 4,124 Slayer points. Instead of price checking all of these items, which aren't really worth that much, we're just going to look at the Rune Light Bank tab loot uh, just to save some time. So overall, 6.2 million in drops from all of this. Keep in mind, that's just basic. I mean, I wasn't assigned anything that was really worth value as it pertains to drops, so it's not too bad that, you know, I didn't really lose money or make too much. But now it is time for the hard clues. We have 48k, following this 148k, and then 121 with a master clue. I tried to save this guy's life uh, by protecting him from the wolves, but I was too late, so rest in peace. Anyway, uh, Master Clue has to be completed before we continue to open up those hearts, so luckily we did it. No, I never got my fighter torso back, so thank God I haven't gotten that step. All right, so 54k from the hard, 131k following that 68k. Now we have one elite, one master, and then 15 brimstone keys to open as well as a chewed bone to burn. All right, 355th elite coming in, 84k from this. I'm not surprised at all those bracelets are just that's like the uh, it's that is what an elite clue is just dragonstone bracelet from the master clue 429k robe of darkness i think i've had that like million times it's not worth anything looking at the collection log for how many pieces of dusk i'm missing it's quite a bit i believe it's like four pieces so opening up these 15 brimstone keys the best case scenario is we get a piece of dusk but the worst case scenario is we just make a little bit of money which is the uh, exact thing that happens so 1.3 million at GP made from Brimstone Chest. I did reach about 400k Slayer XP in this video, which I wasn't really going for XP, but I'll take it. And from the Chewed Bone, I did receive a 20 Adamant Knife, so yeah, not sure what to do with that. All right, well, I think after the clues, the keys, and all that, we made over 8 million GP, obtained 400k XP, and 4,000 Slayer Points. I am certainly ready for ending in zero Slayer Boss Edition. The real question is, are you? Well, before we get to that, tomorrow's April Fool's Day day, uh, if this video goes out when it's supposed to, and I do have something planned for you guys then. Uh, I promise you it's something different, and that's all I can say. Until next time, big shout out to Swan Positive and Matthew Stivers for the support, and all the other YouTube channel members. I'll see you guys soon. Mr. No Sleep, out.